understand why we must strive on. Why we must not give up. I send people to their deaths. And shortly after they become what I have for supper each day. I kill for my own longevity. What does that make me? A survivor? Or am I just a coward? Too scared to take the easy way out. And whose fault is that? Not yours, or mine. It's the fault of our rulers. An emperor we do not see, his pawn overseeing his kingdom. At least I can admit to what I do. You don't tell me anything about your occupation. It's been three months. Not a single thing about what you've been asked to do has been discussed. All in due course. It's hard, since we only get an hour a week. I don't want to force a sour feeling during the period when we don't see each other. I couldn't bear that. I'd rather it be something we could look forward to. Oi, oi. Time's a split, love, right? Oi, get off me! I can walk out myself! Yeah, but it's much more fun doing this. Back to the city four, then number one? Yeah. Hurry up, number two. How are you still alive? Huh? I killed you. You did? Didn't you? <laughs> the old doc has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. It's taken you three months to ask me that. You need to put your best foot forward, mate. Well, you have to anyway. <laughs> Please come in. Hello, Alex. I shall need something different from you today. What is that? We've had a problem in the processing plant. I'd like you to go down there and sort it out. Whatever it is. We've switched off all the machinery, so there's no need to worry. I don't believe you. You're going to make me into sludge, a thick porridge for all of you to consume. Oh, you have developed a very large double standard while I've been away. It seems Officer One wasn't lying. What is it with calling them One and Two? Don't they have names? They did. Not anymore. The officers come in units one through five. Number one is the least brutal. Number five is the most. It depends what industry you're going into. Either way, it, it doesn't matter now. Unless you wish to train as one. Thinking about it, that'd be an interesting thing to observe. I wonder if you'd make it through the first level. So what do I have to do? Like I said, go through and solve the issue. Well, what is the issue? The machines aren't producing enough food. We've detected a power loss as well. We think one of the converters has broken down. Converters? Machines? I don't understand your words. You wouldn't. They are from the ancient world. I may let you know of it when you return. If you return. So I am to do your dirty work. Why else do you think you have a job at all? Go. It would be nice to have some matches. We all want light down here. Who's there? Am I the one you left for death to take? He never came. I asked who's there? Oliver Hartley. Who? You don't remember me. Not surprising, I suppose. None of you do. You just take lives for whatever ends you see fit. No. I'm not like everyone else. I'm not, I promise you. Well, keep your promises. They are wasted on the likes of me. 
Just know that I deem you responsible. I didn't have any other choice. You always have choices. You just fail to see what is right in front of you. You have condemned me maybe for the same reasons. Whatever to protect yourself or someone else. Just know you bring this on yourself. How have you been living down here? I've been living off the conversion chamber's product. The people that go in, I get a fair share of. It's the only thing I have now. I don't have anything to offer anyone anymore. I'll be the judge of that. Come closer. You're badly scarred. Not dead. You have a choice of your own. You can leave here. What am I to be used for? Don't you realize that you are the luckiest of us all? I am trained in medicine, and they still shunned me away. I... Don't know what to say. I get it. You want to be free, but believe me when I tell you that you have had the best life anyone could dream of so far. You're too entitled to see that. I have no entitlement. I am not as privileged as you may believe. Oh, believe me when I say that you are. You haven't experienced what it's like to be the poorest among us. You come from what you consider a harsh background, but if my father thought I was as impotent as you, then he would have done a lot more than break my leg. My father was a tyrannous man. He tortured me for years. Only when I ended his life was when he delivered on his kindnesses, his begging. He gave you mercy. For a long time, the disabled were given an alliance to keep them afloat. He did that to make sure you wouldn't have it as hard as anyone else. Have you ever worked in a labor camp? I thought not. It's illegal to give the disabled a labor work. You don't know anything. You are entitled by your deformity. Now, do you understand how lucky you are? I don't know why I was chosen for this job. I simply don't. Luck. Sheer dumb luck that you were saved and not I. All by the hand of either God or some system itself. Maybe just because the other self-entitled workers were feeling lazy. Why do we have to be in the system then? Do you think I chose this? No, but it chose you. You're just talking shit. I'm heading back to tell them the problem. Mondos est las tabindigo. What did you just say? The world has been left to God. I've heard that before. An old fairy tale we are taught of by God. It is said those are the last words spoken before the great disaster. On the 27th of June, 5079, when time stopped and began anew. I've heard the story. Yes. Why is that important? Because of the never-ending questions in all our minds. Why are we all here? Why am I to live this torturous life? Why, why am I to deal with all this? Well, we all know why. We just don't want to say it. Because we left the world to God. It's just a fairy tale. Nobody believes it. Nobody thinks that the tales are true. They're just for children, to make them feel better about the world that they will soon love to hate. They are. They are all true. Well, what was the cause of the problem? Nothing. A faulty... faulty machine. I'll have Officer One take a look. Now, do follow me. I have something to show you. Show me what? It will all make sense. Don't worry. Come along. Why are we here? Take a look at the view. See that ridge over there? The place beyond the animal key? Yes, it's the wastelands. What if I told you that that place was once a forest? What? How do you know? It's spoken of in the ancient texts. Now, if you will follow me... Where are we going? Why, Mr. Coburn? To the wasteland.
get moving. Stop, I can move on my own. Then do it quickly. Where are you taking me? To see the Emperor. He requests an audience. Where? Just move. Why are you taking me here? You've been requested by the Emperor. He is very keen to show you something. Why? You ask a lot of questions. Just know that you and Lily shall not be harmed. What, Lily? Where is she? Oh, please, stop your insolence. She is safe and shall remain so as long as you listen to him. He has respect for your work here. Believe it or not, you are the longest lasting of all the workers we've ever had. The officers have worked longer. Oh, yes, they have, but I don't really count them. They aren't willing. There was an experiment done a long time ago which has made them our favorite grunts. They believe their own cover story, the poor things. All I've been told about the officers is a lie. They aren't built in ranks. The government has much less power than you think. Only the Emperor guides us. But he also owns us. Why can't we be free? Being free is what caused our downfall. Only a world that is controlled will prosper. But who determines who's in charge? That is for our brethren to decide. They transcend our existence. Then what are they? They will only come to our aid when the world is in another calamity. Do they exist? <coughs> Don't you dare question them. They will return to save us all in time. What is a door in the sand doing here? It is where the Emperor resides. Now, help me open it. No, this place hasn't been entered in over five years. Oh, I feel honored, sir. What is this trickery? They are called fluorescent lights. Please, take a seat. What is this? It's called a wheelchair. But, but why restrain me with these? Let's go on a tour. What are these tanks of liquid? There are things on them. What are these monstrosities? They are what we almost became if I hadn't been stopped. I work with what I can, but over the years it's become harder to find a second opinion. What world is this? The one we once had. You know of the Great Calamity? Of course. It is what I spoke. Yes, I do. What would you say if I told you that if that were not to happen, then it would currently be the year 6520 CE? It wouldn't surprise me. I can count. Why did it happen? A long time ago, there was a war. It was long. It lasted. How long? Twenty minutes. All it took was the pressing of a single... Who was it? Me. What? Why? I had a way to save our species. I had a way to bring us to salvation. And they all denied me the right. I knew what needed to happen. Where's the Emperor? You're talking to him. 
What? I may be guilty of telling just a few lies. Why have you deceived me all this time? Why have you deceived everyone? I have lived a very long time. A very long time. And? The human body lasts on average 50 years in this day and age. It is why I have become accustomed to using my knowledge of science to my advantage. How do you do that? When I was a young man, we were so technologically advanced that we could take one mind out of its shell and put it into another. I don't understand. Most don't. Lily? Alex, don't throw me! They'll do what they like. Now come forward. I said, come forward. Good. Are you gonna hurt me? Oh, goodness. No. No. Yes, I'm very sorry, but she was honestly only kept around to keep your morale. What are you going to do to me? We are condemned to live and die on this miserable plane. The world is in a terrible state, and it will be for thousands of years before we return to what we once were. I would like to see that world when we do. Um, sir? Shall we go? If you must. And if you wouldn't mind killing yourselves when you're gone, that would be most appreciated. Yes, sir. Come on. We must do what we're told. Why did they just... That's what they're programmed to do. Anyway, I've spent a long time repairing this machine. It broke the last time I used it. I've had a horrid time rebuilding it this past five years. I'm so glad I met you, though. You're going to take for my... Yes, and use it for my own longevity. Then I'll eventually use yours to take another... And another. And another. Please. Please. I, I don't want to. Please. You're going to have to, I'm afraid. There's a place full of containers. Well done on your observation. They're all filled with... Many just like you. Unfortunately, they... Let's say have gone off since the machine broke down. I don't understand. The corpses have spent five years rotting. I've at least stopped the smell, which is a positive. You've kept your so-called condemned in... Storage. Yes. I am to be part of this? Yes. I have it all set up. I'll unbind you when you're feeling more relaxed. No, stop! Don't! Oh god, my head. Again. Not again. Where am I? What's going on? Rise and shine. You. Yes, now keep still. I'm making checks. You're the most condemned of us all. How so? You keep on going on and on, not stopping to think how much of a reward death can be in a world like this. You take what you can from others. You never give back because you can't bear the thought of someone outliving you, being more knowledgeable than you. I would not antagonize me if I were you. I have a selection of tools here at my disposal. If I am to become you, then you won't hurt me. While you're right, it will definitely hurt when I burn your mind out of you. You've got to die eventually. We're all going to do that, and trying to run from it won't save you forever. Is that how you're going to talk to your emperor? It is how I'm talking to you. It's taking me all my life to realize that our leaders are just like us. They're just as pathetic, just as human. Allow me to put you into the machine. Oh, please. Do what you've always done. 
Do what you think is right. This is right. It's the only thing that matters. I must go on. I must see this to the end. To the end of what? You've already seen it to the end of my Lily, and soon to the end of me, to the use of me. But haven't you lost someone before? Yes, I have. This is why I do it. I cause the end, and I shall spend the rest of eternity, if I have to, to fix it. Fix it how? By bringing everyone back. I just want to go back to how it was. I don't... I don't want it to be my fault. I I regret so much. I want to go home. And where is home? In Ukraine. With my wife and daughter. Where is this... Ukraine? You wouldn't know it. It may surprise you that English is my first language. Not that I remember how to speak my own. Untie me. Why should I? Because it's clear you're tired. You should just get some rest. Don't think I'm falling for any of your tricks. Don't hurt me! You can't hurt me! Yes, I can. Let me turn on the comms. Can you hear me? Please, let me out! I can't do that. The person I got this body from forgot to tell me of its internal defects. A tumor has given me little more than six months. I'm sorry to cut the conversation short. Please, remember your family. They wouldn't want this. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. Um, sir? Yes. Let's get back to work. Hello, this is Dr. John Salin. You should be able to understand me, my English brethren. It's amazing what machines can do. Change our voices to help us communicate across the oceans without a language barrier. How technology has come. In light of this situation we're facing, and the fact that some of our people are flying off to the stars in stasis, that including my wife and daughter. I wanted to record this last message for you all as I am determined to meet them when they arrive. I know of the pain we face, but I've been tasked with restarting it all. I merely press this button and all shall end. May God forgive me. We all know of the end. The world has been left to God.